okay well you know as with everything else our problems are going to start getting a little bit more complicated as we go so here we have one that says 9p plus 4 equals 8p plus 11 well our problem here is that we've got p's on both sides of the equation if I want to end up with something that says p equals something I have to get these together somehow so I'm going to have to literally remove one of them and place it over on the other side well we can do this again as long as we do the same thing to both sides that will maintain balance okay here's a little trick that I always use too I always try to move the smaller of the terms whatever you know terms it is that I'm looking at I try to move the smallest one as you get into the habit of doing that you'll see that it'll start to make things a little bit easier because you'll only work with positive numbers then okay so what we're going to do in order to remove this 8p to get rid of it over here we're going to do the opposite of positive 8p well the opposite of that would be a negative 8p now do you see that 8p minus 8p will cancel out we can do that as long as we do the same thing to both sides of the equation so now over here on the I'm gonna put my equals where it is I have 9p minus 8p which is 1p so I just have to write p plus 4 equals this is gone 11 now we're right back to an equation that we worked earlier I want P all by itself so I'm going to do the opposite of adding 4 that would be to subtract 4 as long as I do that to both sides we maintain balance so now on the left hand side of the equal sign we have P and on the right hand side of the equal sign we have 7 so I think the solution is P equals 7 well let's check that just to make sure so in place of P, I'm going to replace that with 7's. So 9 times 7 plus 4 should equal 8 times 7 plus 11. Okay, well, 9 times 7 would be 63 plus 4. 63 plus 4 would be 67. Okay, so that's what the left side is. What about the right side? 8, plus, or 8 times 7 would be 56 plus 11 is 67 and those things are equal so that does check let's try another one this one involves fractions so here we have 1 half W minus 3 equals 3 half W now again we've got W's in different places so we need to move one of these terms over to the other side now remember my trick I said always try to move the smaller of the two well between one half and three halves the one half is the smaller so I'm going to remove this and place it over on the other side so the opposite of one half W would be a negative one half W and remember I can do that as long as I maintain balance so now on the left hand side of the equal sign I have a negative 3 and on the right hand side of the equal sign we have 3 halves minus 1 half would be 2 halves which is 1 W so we think the solution is uh, W equals negative 3 now again let's check it just to make sure 1 half times instead of W negative 3 minus 3 is supposed to equal 3 halves times instead of W negative 3 so 1 half times negative 3 would be negative 3 halves minus 3 equals 3 halves times negative 3 would be negative 9 halves now I need a common denominator here so I'm going to put uh, my common denominator would be 2 so I would have to multiply 3 times 2 to get 6 6 divided by 2 is the same thing as 3 is this in fact the exact same thing negative 3 halves minus 6 halves is negative 9 halves so this is a true statement and our answer is correct